And now onto our dinosaur of the day, Barapasaurus, which was a request from Dinosaur4602 via YouTube. So thanks. The name means big leg lizard, and bara means big, and pa means leg in several Indian languages. It was a sauropod that lived in the early Jurassic in what is now India, and it's one of the earliest known sauropods. The type species is Barapasaurus tagore, and the species name means tagores. The first excavation of Barapasaurus was in the 100th anniversary year of the birth of Rabindranath Tagore, a famous Bengali poet and artist, and the species name is in honor of him. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. I like when things are named after unique anniversaries or just interesting historical figures. Yeah, me too. So it was described in 1975 by Sohan Jain, Cuddy, Roy Chowdhury, and Chatterjee. And they found sauropod bones in the Lower Jurassic Coda Formation of India in 1959. They excavated 300 bones in 1961 to 62, and they found a lot. Yeah, it is. And they found at least six individuals. So most of the skeleton is known. It's one of the most complete sauropods from the early Jurassic, but there's no skull bones that are found, which is too bad. That's still really good, though, especially for early Jurassic. Oh, yeah, definitely. But those missing skull bones, that's how you get brontosaurus issues. Yeah, that's true. (laughs) So because there are at least six specimens that died together, they may have been part of a herd that died from a flood. And then the flood may have moved their bodies, and then when they decomposed, the bones may have disarticulated, and a water stream might have moved the skull bones. When it was described, Barapasaurus was not assigned to a specific sauropod group. Uh, paleontologists debate about where it belongs because it was large for an early sauropod, but it had some basal features. It had traits not as well developed that were seen in later sauropods that allowed them to grow so large, such as the long neck and the central neural spines showing the beginnings of being hollowed out to reduce weight. It had elongated cervical vertebrae, which is what gave it its long neck. It was about 59 feet or 18 meters long, which is comparable in size to later sauropods. Yeah, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. And it had spoon-shaped teeth like later sauropods, but with coarse serration. There are only three teeth and three crowns found from the skull. The largest tooth was 2.3 inches or 5.8 centimeters tall. That's pretty big for a sauropod tooth. Mm Mm-hmm. So it had slender limbs, and other animals in the same time and place include the sauropod Cotosaurus and some mammals. 